It's my feel good breakfast show. So, so basically, we are going to make Gravelax. We are going to make Gravelax, but I'm, I throw in some beetroot because look how beautiful the color is. But look how firm that fish look is. It's amazing. It's, it's delicious. It's actually really delicious. I'm not a fan of regular smoked salmon, but I love yeah. some Gravelax. Okay, okay, cool. So let's get to it. Okay, let's so you're going to so gonna mix because you know, you know how I do. Because you always put okay. me to work like this. <laughs> so we've got some rock salt over there. So okay. use um, a coarse salt. It okay. sort of helps it not absorb too much into the fish, but it does all right, draw so out all the of it, eh? So salt in there, yeah. Okay, because we need it. That's, that's the curing agent. That is the cure. And the other curing agent is actually the Salati de Marrera sugar. Okay. I you could use any any salati sugar. How much? Um, but that's that's perfect. Look how much um, I haven't prepped it like this. I just pulled it out the bag. It's amazing. But I do like to use the salati de marrera because it adds like a toffee sort of note and it adds okay. even more um, flavor to the fish. Then we've got some um, lemon zest All there. All right, that goes in there as well. Okay, and like I said earlier, gravelax has to, can only be gravelax dill. if it includes dill. So we've got some dill going in so there. So dill is that kind of herb that tastes like licorice, basically. It is. It? it is. It's got like an aniseed yeah. sort of floral note, and it's really good with how fish. much of this? All of that. All of it. All of that. Yeah, oh, we made it very that. easy for you. All right. Okay? Um, you can actually do as much or as little lemon zest and dill as you like. Okay. And then my twist is the beetroot. The beetroot. That could, that's going to give it this delicious colour that we've got over here. And then a bit of pepper, mill some pepper oh, in there okay. because, you know, we do want to season it from the beginning. Okay. And then what we've got here is a fillet of salmon. Yes. Um, ideally, I like to sort of take the skin off because you don't really use the skin. You don't eat the skin because it gets very tough. Yeah. Um, and then we, we put the actual cure on the, on the flesh side because we want to... Draw out all yeah. the moisture from the actual flesh. Okay, right. so that's well, it. This smells kind of nice with a dill, especially. Doesn't it? Yeah, the yeah, dill's got such a strong smell. It's it a does. Very nice it's got a, it's a very pungent herb. That's okay. It. Then you want to pile that on, and then all you do is sort of leave it overnight. In the fridge or outside? In the fridge, or... wrap it, and then leave it overnight so that it cures. Okay. Um, because as I said, you're trying to draw the moisture out. So yeah. pile it really high. Make sure you cover all the parts of the fish. Okay. Okay. And make sure to get all the salt there as well. There all we right. go. And then, yeah, that all you do is just leave it, and then I'm going to slice a piece, and you, you, you can see how firm the fish has become. So, so ain't like, ne, gravelax is just a, a, a fancy sticky biltong. Yeah, man, it's fish. <laughs> it is basically some fish yeah. biltong. Lekker, man. Right. So here we go. So you can see that the beetroot gives gives the sort of the, the outside a beautiful red color. Yeah. And then the inside stays pink and beautiful. And I'm just going to slice it, and then I'm going to serve it with some um, crackers, or you can serve it with blinis if you're trying to be fancy. With what? Blinis, you know, little, Blinis. Yeah, little buckwheat pancakes. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm going to serve it with some creme fraiche as well. <laughs> All righty. So, we so look, look at that. Oh, so, so what, a, what a man! You're just good, such eh? a chef. I tell Is you. Is that good? Beautiful. I think I think that's a pretty good job. You All right. Did, you so did. you say you say you don't need to do anything with it. Nothing you just kind else. Of leave it. Just into the fridge. Let it s sort of sit for like a day. Yeah. And then, yeah, you're ready to go. Here we All go. All right. Well, there we go. Um, you know what? Very easy. If you want to try your hand at this, this is something interesting and unique if you want to try it out. I'm, I bet, well, I've never tried it. I bet maybe you haven't ever tried it. <laughs> if you want to, you can get your hands on the ingredient list and also link to the recipe by SMSing the keyword Salati to 33728. That's Salati to 33728. Keep in mind, the SMSs do cost one rand fifty, but we'll send you everything you need to know. And you could be making this, and it's great. You leave oh, it overnight, yes. you say. Overnight, and then it's ready to eat. And look at that. Look at well, that. there we go. Well, Zola so beautifully dishes it up for us. Let's take one last look at how we made it. Mix beetroot, demerara sugar, lemon zest, peppercorns, salt and dill. Spread over salmon. Cover with cling wrap, then refrigerate overnight. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. And there you have it. So Zola, just take us through the final little preps that you've done there. There we go. So I'm serving it with some crackers, or you, as I said, you could yeah. serve it with some blinis. This is some creme fraiche. Okay. Just to give it a tang, and then all you do is take a piece of fish, pop it onto a cracker. Look at this. It's like a fancy canopy. Look at that. And then some creme fraiche. What? Your friends will die. Look at from that. joy. Some Gravelax right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. The keyword Salati is <laughs> that to 33728 and you'll be able to make your very own Gravelax at home. Why not? But uh, now that we have satisfied your savory food craving, I'm sure you're in the mood for something a little bit sweeter. So if you tune into Afternoon Express at 4 p.m. this afternoon, Chef Luke Del Roberts will be making a delicious peanut honeycomb popcorn and you definitely do not want to miss out on that recipe. It's going to be mouth-watering. But for our Gravelax, once again, that keyword Salati to 33728. Thank you so much, Jola. Such a I'll, I'll share this one with you because oh, it was so nice. Oh, thank <laughs> you. All right, Kat, what's the weather like outside, my man? 